What's up, Cholos? Um, I'm going to do a part three to this STEM thing, STEM cell research, STEM beats research. Uh, there's a thing that I, I forgot to mention and I'm kind of, kind, of, kind of coming across as I'm doing a lot of these STEM, STEM outs is that uh, I wanted to make a video of this to address this is that um, when you're doing this, uh, you got to you got to go everything, go over everything with a fine brush fine comb toothbrush so this i have this base right i'm just gonna solo it and what happened was i discovered that i was getting like clip sounds watch if you can hear that a little bleep sound um and that's caused because um the the, the um how do i say this if you look at um into it there's like this um god damn it there's this um basically the the sample is starting there's a there's a there's a break in the sample so um it's, it's not really you can't really see it that much right now, but I'm sure it's there if you go in even further. Aha, there you go. There's a break in the sound. Fucking shit. Are you kidding me here? All right, see this right here? This is not matching. So what what you gotta do um is you gotta you gotta go in there and you just gotta like get show fades, right click, show fades so you see it, and then you just gotta have to Move that a little bit, so it'll smooth it out. Right? So it's not, that sample's not starting from volume, it's starting from zero. So that's how you fix that shit. Um, and you get, and, and, and this was like really apparent in the bass loops that I had. And it was like really fucking pain in the ass. And yeah, man, I mean, in the piano shit, I don't think it's there, but let me just double check here. Yeah, and that this piano has has a lot of like um like trying to make it noisy effects, kind of like an old piano. So that's why it sounds like shit. But anyways, it was supposed to sound like shit. Uh, okay, so that was one thing I wanted to cover, and then the other thing I wanted to cover was um uh really pay attention, man. Like oh. The, the, I remember what I was going to say. This master fader thing. So right now I have my beats like already set to a fade on the master channel. So what you want to do is when you're doing the beats, when you're doing the the the, the routing, you want to make sure that you solo it and then route it to the channel from the master. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do that shit right now so watch let me finish this shit real quick because i'm trying to finish this shit so just bear with me for like a couple moments here so you can see like real world shit here okay they, did i fix that one i don't remember yeah that, that one's fixed okay let's go to the next one and another one Okay, and another one. See, I don't even have to look at it because I kind of already know. I already know the business. So I was doing track outs and I came across these issues. And I was like, fucking God damn it. So now I got to go through all my track outs, all my songs, and um, kind of go over it again. Um, and make sure there's no mistakes in there. So, okay, so I'm going to do a whole song uh on video so you guys can see this shit so i got what i did is um kind of you get your 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 worksheet right here and then let me delete that because i was copy and pasted it from another song so make sure you got the song make sure you got what's included in this folder it's con stems right so i'm gonna have the mix down i got the bpm right here um this and then description this description might not i don't think it's gonna be yeah it starts on one so that that was for another beat but i'm so i'm gonna delete that shit 
because you know what I do is I I go through all the beats and then I save save it as another one so I don't have to like keep writing it. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, whatever. Okay. So this is my my uh, guide here, and what I'm doing is if you see my part one and part two, just you know, it, it's good to watch this video so you can kind of you. I mean, I'm sure like you watch it once and you're like, okay, I'm gonna get it, gonna get it, but like. Keep watching the part one, part two, part three, so you could really get it, like really, really get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so I got this shit: one bass, two kick, three snare group, cymbals and percussion, and then main melody and harmony. And I'm gonna figure that out later. But these four ones are, uh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do that. So you kind of line it up on your your beat right so i got the bass i got the drums i got another like what is this one let's figure that out okay so percussion all right piano harpsichord i have apparently huh i have two piano Two pianos. I wonder why I did that. I have no idea. Oh, because they overlap. That's why I did it in two separate ones. Okay. So I'm going to group these. Uh, group tracks. And then piano. Chord, door. I think that's like a synthesizer sound. That's in the beginning intro. Strings, not used. And I have a group of not used tracks because when you're working on stuff, and you're just kind of like got your MIDI and all that shit, and you know, just I don't want to delete those tracks because I could always backtrack if I need to fix something. So I just put them in a group track called not used. So that's how I, you know that's how I organize my my beats. And I recommend everybody uh, use this type of workflow because it helps everything get organized. And then the more you do it, you get used to it. And then mixing and becomes a lot easier. Making track outs becomes a lot easier. And just the way your workflow speeds up, you know what I'm saying? Because then you're like, I know what I need to do, you know? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo this bass and i already fixed it i already fixed the the weird blips and then i got this these these are my track outs right my stems so i'm gonna highlight these and i'm gonna make a group and then uh stems stems save that shit it's in i'm gonna do external master so right now, like like I said, watch the first one and the first two. This third one, I'm just going right through it. I'm not explaining shit that much. Um, but I'm kind of fine-tuning the process because I've made a few. There's a few adjustments that I needed to do from the first two videos. Um, so record. That's a master. And notice that's soloed. So now I stop and then record. Now it's just recording this bass one, right? And I, and I need to like sit through the whole fucking thing and wait till the wave goes to here, right? But I'm not gonna do that on video. I'm gonna do that on my by myself. Save that shit. Now the next one, and then watch. I, I mean, depending on how you, what kind of kicks and shit. But let me show you how I do it real quick. It doesn't really matter what DAW you're using, but. So I just, I just want the kick. So I'm going to open up battery right here. Okay, it's just this one. I just have one kick on this one. Okay, so I just solo that. Right? Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo that and then go to my kick group. And I, I call it kick group because some sometimes you layer your kicks or some people layer their kicks or whatever. But on this particular track, I just have one kick. 
and then record. Okay, see, notice that it's not playing. It's because the kick isn't answered yet. And also I fucked up because I didn't put that shit on master. I'm doing master because I'm recording what's coming through on the master. Uh, the master, right? Um, so I can record any fade outs that I already have. That's what I'm doing. On the other videos, I, I did it straight from the channel. And I, le I realized, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I should do it from the master because if I have a fade out, it won't fade out. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, so then that's that's good to go. And then notice like when that kick comes in. And I got to do it from the beginning, but I'm just showing you when that kick comes in, it will work. Right. OK, but you got to record from the beginning. You got to record from the beginning. <sighs> shit. OK, so. You do all that shit, go through all that, and then you just isolate. So snares, right? Where's my snares at? So I'm going to play the whole track. Ah! Oh, shit. Fuck. Whoa. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Whoa. Hello, testing, testing. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I just did some fucked up feedback feedback loop. I'm gonna okay, let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay. I'm gonna edit that out. Okay, so let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I just did this feedback loop and I almost deafed myself. I, fu I fucked up. But okay, going back to it. Um so you gotta isolate this right here. Uh, we're looking for the snares, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why that happened. Okay, anyways. Okay, my headphones actually, like, I think my headphones got fucked up. Oh, there they go. There they go. Okay. Sorry. Technical difficulties. I had a feedback loop error just a few minutes, a few seconds ago, and it almost deafed me. And I think it fucked up my headphones. God damn it. But anyways, okay, that's the kicks on solo. I'm going to unsolo that. Okay, so this is my clap. Okay, I'm pretty confident that that's the only clap I have in this song. And that's just percussion stuff. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're just going to solo that one. Press stop. Master. In. Record. And then press record. Fuck! What the fuck is going on here? Alright, turn these fuckers off. That's probably what's going on. I'm getting these fucking feedback loops. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's because it's not soloed. God damn it. You gotta make sure you solo that shit. So in this video, you probably see me doing a lot of mistakes, so just... Keep watching, learn from the fucking mistakes. Okay, keep going. We're rolling, we're rolling. Fuck it. <laughs> Make sure that shit's solo, people. Fuck. All right, start it from the beginning, record. And this track is going to record that clap, which we're putting into the snare group. Fucking Christ, technical difficulties, man. This is what happens when you don't drink martinis when you're recording. If I had a martini, it'd be fucking smooth sailing. <laughs> All right, so anyways, you do that shit for the whole track. Okay, next. Symbols. So then you're going to mute the kick in that clap and then record the symbol. The, you're going to record that and you're going to record 
I'm going to record this percussion sound. Okay, so we're going to pretend that that recorded. Okay, so we're, we're fast forwarding through the process here. And then what I learned is that what you can do is go on your folder here and notice I have, let's see, save that, constems. Um, con stems, okay. And then this is really cool right here. Check this out. To do the stems, all you gotta do is take that that track, and you could just drag and drop to your. St oh my god! Fuck! What the hell did I do? All right, here we go. Drag and drop. Motherfucking technical difficulty. Okay, drag and drop, and it'll fucking do that, right? You know, one base, right? One base, and then go through it, and then just delete those stupid fucking numbers right before that but it, it'll match right so when the person gets the stem folder everything's gonna match they can look at that shit and it's everything's gonna match all right so just to show you um something kind of like what it looks like okay so i'm gonna do another song right here so you can see what it looks like um uh Let's see, I just did one. Which one did I do? Diamond Girls. Okay. So you're welcome, people. Just bear with me here. Okay, so I just did this this one like two seconds ago, right? Diamond Girls, didn't I? No, I didn't do this one. Oh, sorry, people. I, pr I opened the wrong one. Bear with me here. Okay. So, see, look at that. I did that shit, right? I didn't do it. I didn't put these in a group. I'm going to do that right now. Because I didn't finish. But th this is a kind of like a really tedious, stupid, boring process. But... You have to really make sure that everything is right. So even though it's stupid and boring, it's like, you know. And look at this. I don't know if I checked the fade. I don't know if I did the fade in thing. Hold on. So I might have to redo this. Yeah. I have to do that stupid fucking shit. God damn it. So I got to go through that shit and do fix that. And then, so look, I gotta go. I'm clicking all of these off here. Man, this is this. I hate doing this shit. To be honest with you guys, this is so fucking annoying. All right, stems. So right now, all my stems are 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 activated. They're on, and it's they're grouped, right? So if I solo this, the beat will fucking play. Oops, sorry, that was muted. This yellow thing means muted, by the way. But I have to fucking do this stupid bass track again because I forgot to do the fade in stuff that I just showed you guys. Motherfucker. But anyways, and then you gotta check that everything uh, is faded out, that it followed the fade out. And then you take, again, like I said, now you could just drag and drop. Boom. 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 Watch. And drag and drop all these fucking tracks. So you got your stems. But this one, I'm going to delete that because I got to redo that one. All right. So thanks for watching this. I'm going to call this part three troubleshooting. And um, yeah, troubleshooting and like little mistakes that you got to fix um and then yeah uh and then i'm gonna make make one that i'm gonna actually import the tracks and get them ready 
for for mixing and and recording so you so stay tuned for that one thanks for watching um how to make stems the right way um chateau cholo gustavo lo furibe get it make money west side oh give this a thumbs up even though i had a lot of technical difficulties you know <laughs> Because it's keep I'm keeping it real, people. I'm keeping it real. This is fucking unscripted. Okay, bye.